so I came up here to lay down for a little bit because I feel a headache coming on and I'm praying to God that it's not going to be a migraine like the other day because that was so bad. Um, but in these moments, I like to reflect on what's important and because I feel like it helps to keep me sane and it helps to keep me focused. Like, it's just something that I do. Um, you know, like, just being thankful for the moment that I'm in. Knowing that my life could change at any given moment. You know, whether it's health issues or just other fires and trials that come. And even death right so like I try to imagine myself as like this instrument of God to where I want to be used at all times and to like share my thoughts or what I'm learning in a situation or what I feel in a situation so that it can help other people just to not feel lonely in this moment for one to feel like uh, to remind myself that there's other people who are going through harder things and two also, to acknowledge um, the thankfulness that I have to even be able to use this moment in time that God has given me in my life in this very moment to express anything of the heart that could help other people if, if you're suffering. Like, that's why I make these videos and, and it's also um, therapeutic to talk. Um, so, I just want to share what I'm feeling right now, okay, in spirit. I'm feeling like, in these moments, I'm thankful that I can rest. I'm thankful that I can just lay here, that I'm not obligated to go be somewhere or do a job or something. That God is allowing me to just lay here and rest. And I like to think about things about my life. I, I think about experiences that I've been through. I thank God for things. Um, and just reflect on my life, you know? Like, it's amazing to me, you guys. Because there have been so many times in my life where I came close to dying. That even in these moments, I'm so thankful to still be here. And... That may sound strange to people, but I just have been so close to death's door that I see everything now as a teaching experience um, from God. Like, he's teaching me something as a learning experience, basically. And I see everything as like a test and... and that God's teaching me something. So like in this moment in spirit, I would be thinking, what am I supposed to be learning in this moment? Well, it's having me reflect on my day. It's having me reflect on time spent and my heart. It's having me like think about ways that I want to grow, you know, asking God ways how I can grow. Um... And just a self-reflection, I guess. Um, an examination is what I mean. So, I'm just thankful that I'm here. I'm thankful that I can breathe. I'm thankful that I can even be looking in a camera right now. When I could have very, very easily have died in an airplane when <laughs> there was an emergency landing when the cockpit caught fire. I could have died in the several car wrecks that I was in that flipped and that hit me, that totaled the cars. I was in two car wrecks that totaled, the two cars were totaled. Um, one that I was driving, the other one I wasn't. I mean, I just reflect on my life, you know, like when I was an alcoholic, I reflect on the moments when I was waking up day after day just seeking to self-destruct and to 
like medicate myself because I was so depressed because I, I just like all hope was gone and I just like to reflect on how like I'm thankful that God took me out of that you know pit of demons constantly tormenting me and telling me how worthless I am and, and how my life it means nothing um it's it's almost like sometimes I have to take a step back and go like oh my gosh Jesus took me out of that pit and it's 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 a miracle to me every day to be out of that pit and I'm not saying that I don't you know um get tormented by the devil because believe me I do like I still have to overcome him when I have thoughts throughout the day I have to overcome my flesh too but I'm talking about when I actually had demons living inside of me um it was a non-stop chatter of torments of cursing of hopelessness and just just thinking like in this moment I took medication for this headache so I'm I'm praying that it goes away and I'm waiting for that but I'm just reflecting on these things as I sit here and wait and I'm thankful that I'm not dead I'm thankful that God saved me so many times in my life I'm thankful that he kicked the demons out of me and that I have peace I talk about the peace of God a lot but his peace it's it settles my soul it anchors my soul and in hard times I reflect on how on all the times that God's taken me out of storms and how he's helped me weather through the storms and how he has helped me overcome very difficult trials in my life so like right now I'm just meditating and thinking on and reminiscing on these things that I'm sharing with you knowing that even though I'm terrified right now of getting a full-blown vestibular migraine I know that I can do everything with God's help because he's with me and I trust him and yeah, so this is just kind of me overcoming my own fear by sharing these thoughts with you guys. And I may seem like I'm rambling to some people. Maybe I am. Maybe it'll help you. I don't know. <laughs> but it's helping me. So um, I want to be more transparent and share different things that I go through. Like I feel God leading me to do that. And to talk about things however I feel led in moments. Um as I'm waiting, as I'm enduring uh, trials and different fires and things. So that's pretty much the point of this video is to just take you guys with me on my journey and moments. And you, you know, God can use this however he wants. And I'm sorry if this is just rambling, but it's helping me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share these thoughts and thinking about how like, Trusting Jesus is everything, and even when things are happening that I don't understand, or even when my heart can get upset and even angry at God in moments, because things can get so hard sometimes, like it's knowing that I still trust Him, even in moments when I've been angry at Him, and He's always shown up and been compassionate and merciful and loving and long-suffering in those moments, and patient and understanding he you know i mean he knows like when we get upset that it's just wise to share these things with him and to not pretend like you're in a good mood if you're not or whatever but to really just talk to god in spirit and truth about how you feel and then he uses it to teach us things so like like okay for example right now i'm going through this mental battle of Satan telling me, I'll just tell you part of the battle, Satan's trying to get me worried and thinking that my migraines, or this headache's going to turn into a migraine and it's going to get super bad like it did a few days ago. And God tells me to trust him and to have peace that it won't. But even if it did, which it won't, God keeps telling me it's not going to get that bad. I won't be vomiting or anything like that. But even if it did, that I know that God would get me through it. So, like, I just trust Jesus. And 
even in moments, like I said, that I've been, like, if I was upset with God or angry with him or whatever, even in those moments, I know that God's always right, and he's always going to teach me something in these moments, in these hard fires and trials, and it's very humbling, It's and it's beautiful, because even in those moments, the hardest of hard times, he still shows up, and he's still faithful, he's faithful to get his children through everything, so... the hardest of hard trials god has been so faithful you guys to get me through everything and i just trust him i love him and i love the person that he is i love who he is i love i love him even when i don't understand his ways i can't deny that i love him <laughs> like i always love him and i respect him i respect that he knows what the right way is even in moments when I'm being corrected or he's chastising me or I'm having to learn a hard lesson, like, it may hurt for a moment, right? But I'm thankful and I love who he is. I love that he's a God that I trust, that he's a good God, and I love knowing him. And he is my greatest gift. Jesus Christ is my greatest gift. So if there's anything that I could ever boast in, it would be knowing God and knowing that he knows what's best for me and he's always going, going to put me through fires and trials because he loves me because he knows what's best for me even when it hurts like hell in moments um he's teaching me and that to me is just a beautiful testimony of how much he loves because he's always teaching he's always going out of his way to search his children's hearts to walk us through hard tests sometimes and fires and trials because he loves his children because he wants what's best for us it's not that he's a god who likes to torment or he enjoys watching people suffer he enjoys his work i will say that i have felt god his joy in moments where he does enjoy his work and and he should he should he should be honored for his work even his the hard work that his children go through but I get it like because he's doing a good thing and he knows it's a good thing and that encourages me to know that even in the hardest of hard trials when when God's joy shines through it's because he's joyful that his children are walking in truth and that they're being refined into everything that he wants for them you know for our hearts and our souls yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. Like, I just love the person that God is. I love him. I love that he's a mystery still to me. And even in the ways that I don't understand him, I know that he reveals things to me in the perfect timing that he chooses in the perfect way. So, like, it just shows the deep intimacy of God, how he still hides himself sometimes, you know, from his children. Because he's the treasure that we continue, that I continue, definitely will continue to dig, to seek, to find, and to learn new revelations about him. Um, and I love it because even though God knows everything about me more than I know about myself, he knows when to reveal certain things about me to me. <laughs> I mean, this is really deep if you think about it. He is such a romancer in that way. Like, that's so beautiful, you guys, that God loves that deep, that he's patient and gentle and kind and meek. And even though he, he can definitely be stern, right? Um, and he can definitely, you know, command me to obey something extremely hard in a moment's time. Like, but what I mean is like, just his heart it's so beautiful and so big and he's just a big mystery it, the closer i get to god the more of a mystery he becomes to me too and that's pretty deep when you think about it like just when you think you know someone they get bigger and deeper and then just when you think that you know you're you're understanding yourself God teaches you things about yourself, about myself that I didn't know. 
<laughs> and it's like, uh, it's a never ending romance. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, he's just so deep. <sighs> I felt good talking just now. Okay, so I guess I'm going to stop rambling now and close my eyes for about 30 minutes. I feel God telling me just to rest my eyes. But I wanted to take you guys with me here in spirit and just talk however I felt led to talk. So, hope you guys are having a great night. God bless. <laughs>